peace and blessings. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I'm about to do a video on um, on Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out there celebrate Valentine's Day and all like so-called in love, a so-called love day, temporary boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm gonna do a video on Valentine's Day, cause today is the day of love. Everybody's in love. Only for today though. Alright, my views and, and opinions on Valentine's Day, I have nothing, anything that's positive and it's, it's, it's spreading love and people just being united and, and finding a great moment in life and forgetting about all the stress and b bullshit that's going on in this world and could really find a moment for love, I'm all for it. So if you feel Valentine's Day makes you happy or makes you feel like you're in love or make you feel special, then celebrate it. Hey. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not here to tell you, you're wrong for doing things, and well, yeah, I am. I'm here to tell you some shit like that. But not for this occasion. You feel what I'm saying? But let me tell you about Valentine's Day. All right. Now I'm not no holiday expert, and I know deep, deep, hardcore facts about these holidays. I do know that a lot of holidays that we, uh, a lot of holidays that we celebrate, are rituals. They use our energy and the energy and the atmosphere and all this energy. They use it and they do things with these uh with this energy. It's like Black History Month. This whole month started a black moon. You know what I'm saying? And a whole lot of energy was 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 out here, but nobody knew about it because nobody know how to channel energy. Nobody how, nobody knows how to use the energy, and therefore they take your energy and they use it against you to manifest their things. When you could be manifesting stuff with this energy but you don't know about it because you still stuck in the tv and mundane world and you still worried about holidays all right but that's another video back to this valentine's day thing if you feel valentine's day is gonna make you happy if you feel you found love or you just want to experience happiness celebrate valentine's day now if you celebrate in valentine's day to get gifts which is selfish ass you probably be a probably a female out there talking to twenty different dudes, trying to get the best gifts from this dude, that dude. You got like fourteen different Valentine. You a you a real evil, selfish person. You know what I'm saying? Cause one of them dudes probably might really like you or really trying to show you some attention, and you behind his back playing him, and you got other dudes seeing you on Valentine's Day, and they buying you stuff, and you think you a pimp. You know what I'm saying? Just abusing the whole whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and another another point. This video is gonna be short. This video is not gonna be that long. You know what I'm saying? And another point I want to make about Valentine's Day. This this why I find this shit so fucking stupid. Like I don't celebrate no holidays. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, my queen, she still she still like she still like 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 certain you know females are emotional and all that. So if it makes her happy, I'll do it just for her. You know what I'm saying? Just to see a smile on her face. But I don't give a shit if she buy me something or not. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't give I don't give two shits about none of that. I could, if I want something I could buy it all. If I really want I could ask her, yo, you can buy me this you know? but I don't give a damn if she buys it for me or not, you know what I'm saying? Cause by her the way she acting is showing me love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the way she treats me, she wakes up and make me breakfast. That's showing me love. You know what I'm saying? She deals with my problems when I act like an asshole, when, when I get an attitude. And, and you know what I'm saying? She deals with it and she, she still, she's still around me. That's how I know she loves me. I don't need no fucking $200 present, $300 present to sh to, for her to prove that she loves me. No, I could tell her love is real. That's why I'm still with her. You know what I'm saying? Even though we've been through all the bullshit we've been through, we had a lot of growing up to do. You know what I'm saying? But I don't need no fucking presents to, to, for, for her to show that she loves me. And I feel the same way. I don't need to give her no motherfucking presents to show to her that I love her. She should know I love her about all the shit I put up with. With her. With, with, you know what I'm saying? With her. She should know I love her about all the stuff I do for her. You know what I'm saying? This is why I say these holidays are bullshit. Because a lot of people fall into this trap. If you need one day out of the whole year to show somebody you love them. But you don't really love them. You're supposed to show that love every day. Every day you're supposed to show that love. You know what I'm saying? No matter if it have a, you had a bad day, you woke up on the bad side of the bed, they woke up on the bad side of the bed, you still supposed to be have love for them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, one day, oh, you're going to buy all these big, I'm going to buy you the biggest teddy bear to show you how much I love you. That's straight fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with buying your lady or your man a little gift here and there, but everybody just wait to this one specific day. What about all the other 364 days, whatever, how many days is left in a year? 
What about those days? Those days don't count as love. It's only once a year on Valentine's Day where you really truly show somebody you love them. This is why I say these holidays are straight bullshit and y'all gotta see through this, through this, through this fucking big ass thick cloud of smoke. This shit is straight bullshit. You gotta see through the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, look, you see this shit right here? I brought this, I brought this for uh, my queen or whatever. I'm rocking this shit. I thought this shit was fly. I'm, I'm thinking about keeping this for myself. It's, no, it's a little uh, necklace. It come with earrings. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Oh, he wearing a necklace. Listen, I'm a man. I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm in touch with my man, my masculine side and my feminine side. I don't let a piece of material uh, show the outcome of my life or, or describe me. No, I describe this. I could throw this on and make this look real good as I'm doing right now. But yeah, I got this for her. But I told her, I'm like, hold on. You're going to have to let me rock this <laughs> <laughs> I told her, I said, yo, you gonna have you gonna have you let me rock this a couple of times. For real, this is this is nice, but see, I didn't have to do this. I could have brought this any other day of the week, but I just did it just because, you know what I'm saying? It's not because of no damn holiday or no Valentine's Day. It really don't she, she knows I love her. I could bring her and, and bring her in this video right now and let her tell you that. Yeah, she she don't give a shit about we both don't give a fuck about none of these holidays. Christmas, none of that. Matter of fact, Christmas, y'all don't even know the real meaning about Christmas. That's another video. You know what I'm saying? But to you, that's what I'm telling you. You create your own reality. You know what I'm saying? You are the the the, the controller, the master of your own life. You know what I'm saying? If, if Valentine's Day means a lot to you, and it makes you happy, and it makes you feel warm inside, and you feel love, and it could, it could help you forget about all the stress and pain and suffering you've been going through, then celebrate Valentine's Day. If you celebrate Valentine's Day for material reasons, Oh, what he gonna buy me? Oh, you didn't buy me nothing. I ain't talking to you. Women and men are so stupid. Like, men, if a female is telling you, oh, yeah, you didn't buy me this, so I didn't like the presents you got me, or, oh, you taking me to the movies, you shouldn't be with her ungrateful ass. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about how much the present cost, or how big the present was, or how little the present was. It's about the effort and the time he took out to actually think about your stupid ass to buy you something. Same thing to go for the for the women. Same thing to go for the women. Women, if you buy your man's son and he ain't he ain't, he not satisfied with what you brought, fuck that, fuck him. Because that right there shows his character that he's a materialistic or she's a materialistic person. They not in it for the love. They in it for what they could get out of it. They're selfish. You know what I'm saying? They probably got somebody else on the side and who brought them something better. They acting funny to you and you. Spent your last little money you had or you probably didn't even buy nothing. You probably was creative and made something, but that wasn't good enough for them. Fuck them. Because it's supposed to come from the heart. It's not supposed to come from the pocket. It's not supposed to come from how much money you have. See, people out here are so materialistic. So materialistic. So material for what? For what reason? You get the shit and then five minutes later you want some new shit. Like everybody with this big ass iPhone shit. Oh, the iPhone 4, iPhone 5. The iPhone 5 do the same shit the iPhone 4 do. Same exact shit. I know people with the iPhone 5 right now who ain't got no motherfucking job, can't pay their phone bill. They got the iPhone prepaid. All types of shit, but they got to have this phone. They so caught up in this materialistic phase because the TV is controlling their brain. They think I be talking bullshit. I know exactly what I'm talking about. And people who watching my video know exactly what I'm talking about. If you sit your ass in front of a television two hours at every day, eight hours every day or whatever, all these fucking commercials being programmed into your subconscious. So every time you out in the world, yo, I want the iPhone, I want the iPhone. You don't even fucking know why you want the iPhone. What's wrong with your phone you got? It should work perfectly fine. It ain't, it ain't shit but pocket police anyway, keeping track of your ass. That's why I don't keep no cell phone on me. Fuck a cell phone. You want to talk to me? You you see me when you see me, or if you nice with your shit, you know what I'm saying? If you spiritually growing, you know how to do telepathy. You know how to talk telepathically. You know what I'm saying? The way we used to talk before we fell into this mundane realm. You know what I'm saying? Before we became slaves. Before we... A whole nother video, though. If Valentine's Day make you happy... Celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm over here clapping my hands and stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. People be asking me, yo, why you, how you be laughing so much and you just smiling? Because I'm happy. Like, I know y'all can see it on. I'm happy. I just smile. I'm, I'm laughing. You know what I'm saying? Because 
I'm not in suffering and pain no more because I understand life now. I understand my purpose in life. I know who I am. I know what I'm meant to do. See, people working these jobs, slaving every day, thinking they, they that's their career. They was born to no, 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 no. Some people have purpose in a lot of situations. God put you in a lot of places for certain situations. But you got to realize that you're not a fucking a slave, a human being doing somebody else's work. You got to realize you're God too or a goddess as well. But uh, a lot of us is not even from this planet if you want to get technical. See, I know I just bottled your head just now. Y'all probably like, whoa, he lost me now. See, a lot of people, when the truth hit them, it either hurts them where they don't want to hear no more or it's just so confusing to them and it's so just like, he's lying, he's crazy, that they don't want to hear it because they've been trained to think a certain way. So when somebody hits you with some real knowledge and real information and you, oh, this, he's crazy, he works with the devil, or he, uh, he's, he's smoking weed, or he's, he's doing something, you scared of the truth. But y'all love lies. People love lies. That's what I, that's what I, people love lies and they only listen to fear. That's the only two, that's how every, everybody, start watching people, just watch people. They love being lied to. They love being lied to. People love being lied to. This whole world is basically ran on lies right now and fear. Once you put, once you can put fear into somebody, you can control them and manipulate them and do whatever. Once your boss tell you, yo, you come late one more time, you losing your job. You put, he put fear into you, so now you're trying to make it on time every day to work. Oh, I can't be late, I can't be late, I can't be late. You're fucking, you'll beat somebody ass up just, just to make it on, just to make it at work on time because you scared to lose your job and you think, oh, you can't lose this job. It's fear. Once the doctor tell you, oh, you got diabetes, you you got two more months to live, that's fear to you. Now you, you're already, okay, somebody got a gun and they about to shoot you. If you scared of that bullet, if you think that bullet really gonna kill you, you dead before the bullet even touch you. Just because of the fear. The fear alone gonna kill you. The fear alone is gonna kill you. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. It's, it's, y'all might not grasp it right now because y'all still, like, y'all still awakening up, basically. Y'all, y'all not always woken up, but... Later on, when y'all wake up, y'all be like, oh, damn. I remember he said that. That makes that make perfect sense now. See, right now, y'all receiving information, but some of y'all not even ready to see this information. Some of y'all just watching this video because I uh, I put it on my Facebook, and y'all be like, but whatever, I'm going to watch it. I'm bored. Or sometimes he be talking some real shit, so I watch it. But a lot of y'all not ready to see this um, to receive this information. So people who are um, ready to receive this information, when they hear it, it automatically clicks in their brain. See, you might watch this video. You might hear what I'm saying. It won't click in your brain until like a week later. You be like, oh, that's what he meant. Damn, and that's what he was talking about. Because now it was that time for you to get your brain actually, you know what I'm saying? But y'all don't get me, though. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. But back to on, on topic. Valentine's Day, if you if it makes you happy, if you don't follow no rules, laws, rituals, whatever. You create your own things as you go. That's what I keep trying to tell you. Live in your own mind. You create what you want it to be, you know what I'm saying? Valentine's for me is every day because... I'm spreading love every day. Not just to my queen, not just to my family or my friends, strangers in the streets. Like, hey, what's up, man? Love you, man. You <laughs> good word. Like, hey, hey, sis. Hey, queen. How you doing? I call I call all females. Queens, you a little kid, princess. That's how I talk to them. It's, you know what I'm saying? So you might hear me in this video talking about a, a, another uh, sister or queen. You know what I mean? You might hear me say queen again, but... A lot of the times I don't be talking about my queen that's with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at all the women as queens and goddesses and princesses. You know what I'm saying? Princess, queens, goddesses, mothers. I look at all of them. They, they, they have a high rank to me. You know what I'm saying? They're not no woman. You got to have a high rank. You know what I'm saying? But when a woman, when a, when, a, when a queen or a princess or a goddess degrade herself and start doing all these crazy things, being in music videos, degrading herself putting pictures of her body all on the internet for people to lust over her. When she starts doing that, then she get the title of a, a female or a, 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 the B word. I don't want to say it because I don't like disrespecting nobody. I don't like hurting nobody feelings or anything. You know what I'm saying? Then you get those type of titles. Just like men. I call men gods. You know what I'm saying? Kings, princes. You know what I'm saying? But when you're doing nigga shit, I'm going to call you a nigga now. You know what I'm saying? White, black, Hispanic, whatever. When you're doing degrading shit, I'm calling you out your character because I'm letting you know I'm real. I'm here to help you. I'm not here to disrespect you. I'm not here to break you down. I'm here to, to tell you the truth. The truth hurts. You know what I'm saying? The truth hurts. 
that's the realest shit. The truth don't come on on a, on a plate all all nice and shit. The truth hurts. You know what I'm saying? If you got a man cheating on you, I think I said this in another video. You got a man cheating on you, and he tell you all these lies. Oh baby, I'm not cheating on you. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? You gonna feel good. You gonna sleep good at night. But he come to you like, yeah, baby, I fucked her the other day. Your ass probably start breaking down crying because the truth hurts. Yeah, girl, I, I fucked your friend the other day. You probably still, what? You mad at him and your friend now? Because the truth hurts. Nobody likes the truth. That's why they run away from the truth. That's why they're scared of the truth. That's why they don't, don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to watch my videos because it's so true. They want me to tell them lies. That's why y'all go to church every Sunday constantly, continuously, because y'all want to be fed lies. Y'all want somebody to keep lying to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want somebody to keep lying to y'all. It feels good when they lie to you. Lie to you, lie to you, lie to you, lie to you. You could deal with the lies. Because it's all a lie. You know what I'm saying? You can't deal with the truth because it'll hurt you. It'll make your ass cry. It'll make your ass think. It'll make your ass wake up. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, don't be worried about no damn gifts on Valentine's Day or none of that shit. If the man or the woman did something to show you that they even thought about your crazy ass, appreciate it and love them back. You know what I'm saying? Don't be, oh, because don't be jealous of your friend. Your, your friend got a big ass teddy bear and you got a little card and you mad because your man couldn't get you that big teddy bear. You don't know his situations. Don't act like that to that man or don't act like that to that woman. Be grateful that somebody even thought about your scary ass. <laughs> Yeah, I make myself laugh at times. Be grateful, for real, though. Be really grateful that somebody, you got somebody out there that want to show you love and affection. With your selfish ass. Y'all people so selfish and so greedy. All they all do is want, 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 but they don't give out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's mind-boggling. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. But I love y'all. I hope y'all love yourself. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to say. Just peace and blessings to you and yours and your family. But I hope y'all wake up and really see the, the true colors and just spread the love. Spread the love to everybody. I tell everybody I love them. Everybody. My enemies, everybody. I love you. I got nothing but love. That's the highest vibration. That's the highest frequency you ever going to get. That's the realest thing that you cannot see. It's a whole bunch of love going around in this planet because Valentine's Day right now. Fake love. I call it fake love because everybody fake. Everybody just doing it because they want something. I know people that... I used to do this shit too. I'm not... Hold on. I ain't gonna even going to cut this video off yet. I used to do this too. Back in the days. Back in the little... You know what I'm saying? When everybody thought they was a player back in the days or whatever. I used to be talking to chicks or whatever. My little shiesty ass. It was some chicks that I was talking to and I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy this chick son, cause she's a real nice girl, you know what I'm saying? It was some chicks that I was talking to just cause I wanted to talk to them, just cause I wanted to get in a, you know what I'm saying? I was being, a, I was thinking low, I was using my lower self to think, I was using my, my penis to think instead of my, my brain, my, my mind, you know what I'm saying? So around this time in the, in the holidays, I would break up with them, I'm like, nah, like, you acting crazy, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Just so I won't buy them now, I was, I was messed up, I was wrong. Yeah, if you if y'all watching this video, I was wrong for that. That was, but holidays ain't shit anyway. So y'all can't be mad because y'all probably was doing the same shit. Y'all probably had dudes on the side. I don't know, but spread love and you will receive love. Love yourself first before you can love anybody else. Because you can't love nobody if you don't even love yourself. If you don't even love looking yourself in the mirror, like looking in the mirror and looking at yourself and just admiring and loving who you are without putting no makeup, no weave, none of that shit on, without having a haircut. Without having nothing. If you can't love yourself, you can't even love nobody else. So you're not even looking for love out there. You're looking for somebody to fill in your gap. You know what I'm saying? Love love starts from yourself first. Then you can love somebody else. But peace and blessings to you and yours. I'm out of here. I'm about to go. Uh, I have my business. I'm about to. I'm out. Peace.